In the last section, we learned how to display user data on the UI. In this particular section, we will learn how to install Stripey. So in this video, we will learn what is Stripey and uh, what is the use of Stripey. Then we will learn how to install the Stripey and set up Stripey for our application. Then we will connect the Stripey to the MySQL so that our database will be a MySQL for our content. And afterward, we will connect Strapi to our Cloudinary so that we can store our all images video on a Cloudinary. And after that, we will learn how to generate the API from the Strapi without writing any code. So all of this we will learn in this particular section. And uh, let's begin. In this section, we are going to install this Strapi. Okay, and uh, Strapi is the one of the best open source uh, headless CMS available currently uh, on the internet okay and uh, this Stripey is completely free so uh, you don't need to pay anything okay if you are doing the self hosted okay and if you see it's free forever and uh, the reason that I am using the Stripey uh, because it's very uh, customizable the UI is uh, outstanding and also it provide a lot of plugins that you can use okay if you go to their, their marketplace <clears throat> they have a lot of plugin that you can use it and the the way the, once we install and when once we look into this trappy i will i will make sure that you will definitely love this trappy okay um the another alternative for this one and you can use it you can search it on google or youtube uh, the name is uh, sanity okay that is also open so that is also free but the thing is you cannot control on the uh, the which database you are using in the sanity okay in strapi you can use of post sql graphql or you can use the mysql okay database as well and it's, as i say it's customizable that's the reason we are using strapi and very easy to install and uh, you don't need to do anything as i say uh, you will create the api as well uh, without writing any code okay so what you have to do uh, just copy this particular line of code okay and go back to your project uh, folder where you want to uh, install this strapi and in this case open the command prompt at the desired location okay and then um, just execute this line of command which you copied okay so in this case you can give the uh, name of the project you want to give right i will say uh, educational app backend okay and enter it then it will ask you some question let's say yes and then it will ask to a uh, different type of installation the quick installation it's very quick you don't need to do any uh, custom setup or anything right and it use a post sql as their uh, default database right but in this case as i told you we are using mysql so uh, that's the reason I select the MySQL so that I will tell you how to do customization because on the internet you will not find anything uh, any video like this where we are using MySQL connect to MySQL to the uh, Stripey so let's uh, select the custom and here I will select the JavaScript then we have option SQLite, PostSQL, MySQL so in this case we will select the MySQL here we have to select the database name now uh, for this particular tutorial, uh, I'm using the Hostinger service, right? And uh, <clears throat> this is one of the cheapest and best hosting you will find on the internet. The link is in description. And if you use that link, you will get the 75% off uh, on the hosting. Okay. So, so here you have to enter the database name. So in this case, the, um, this is my database name. I will put the host. So in my case, it's at tubegorgi.com. Then the port number I will keep as it is then the username uh, i will paste like this and the password so i'm entering the password so it's saying enable ssl connection i will say no for this one and then it will create and generate the file for us okay a few minutes later now if you see our project is now uh, generated right so let's go to the project so i will do cd educational app that's back in and now i'm in the project right and in order to run this project you just need to type npm run develop right and it will run our uh, strapy project 
so it will give the port number where you can uh, do the uh, you can check the uh, application so it's saying the access denied by user right in the code box and blah 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 so the reason is right so if you go back um, let's go back to our host ginger right and in the host ginger once you create this database you have to make sure you will give the access to the remote mysql okay so what i will do let's go to the remote mysql and select the ip as any host okay and choose the database so in this case is a code box and just create it okay so it will create the remote connection for the database and now if you go back to this um, command prompt and try to run the project it will take few uh, seconds in order to generate the um, app, uh, the database and everything tables and everything a few minutes later and uh, now if you see right our project is run successfully and it's it will open on the local host uh, port number 1337 and if you see it it will ask you to register for the admin because you are accessing the first time right so i will say my last name tubeguruji.com let enter the password so i will enter my password confirm password and just say let's start okay now if you see you landed on the strappy dashboard okay where you can do anything whatever you want even though if you want to change the logo of this one right and you want to customization you can do that you just need to upload the logo it will change everything a lot of things uh, you can explore in this one once you log into this one okay and uh, afterwards uh, i will tell you some of the things to generate the api adding uh, adding the contents and everything right so when you uh, in this particular course right when we uh, adding any content i will teach you how to build the content for this one and how to add the content for our application through the strapi so it's very really easy okay and uh, i am sure you will love it okay now the next is if you see right in media type if you upload any new assets right just upload new assets go to browse file and here for example i will up upload this particular banner okay and say upload assets to the library so once it upload right uh, it uploaded to the uh, strap it out and you can access the um, particular link by copying this link and you can just paste it and you can access this one right but uh, in this case right what i am doing uh, we will connect this to our strapi to the cloud cloudinary this cloud is the one of the so now in order to connect this strapi to the cloudinary right make sure first uh, you will create this cloudinary account and once you sign up to this cloudinary um, then go to this uh, dashboard section i put the link in the description okay so if you join with that right you will get the extra credit uh, for the storage so just go back to this uh, our strapi and go to the marketplace right here you will see the lot of option uh, go to the providers which is the official uh, and made by strapi this particular plugins right and you will see this various option like w uh, aws s3 buckets to upload this one right uh, in this case we are using cloudinary but you have option to use firebase we, uh, storage and lot of things right here uh, click on more okay so it will jump to the documentation of this particular strapi and you will see uh, the command in order to execute it right uh, to install this trap uh, cloudinary for your strapi project also uh, there are some uh, key we need it right so once you uh, log into the cloudinary you will find these keys as well so first uh, let's copy this line of commands and execute in a command prompt so what i will do i will go to this command prompt i will stop the project first and then i will execute this line of command okay so it installed successfully okay so let's run the project so before that right open this project in a vs code because we have to add some uh, code into this one so i open this in a vs code 
and then let's go to a documentation of this one and if you come down right it's saying in the config folder in the plugin.js you have to copy this line of code so i will copy this one okay and let's go back to this uh strappy vs code and in the config we have this plugin uh, we don't have any plugin uh, file right so create a new file called plugin.js okay and inside this just paste this particular code okay now you have to replace this cloud name key and secret uh, with your uh, cloudinary account okay so the name is right uh, this plugins.js so make sure the name is correct so right now i will just rename this to the plugins.js okay and then go back here go to the cloudinary and here we have to copy this cloudinary name then uh, i will paste it like this right directly so you can put it this uh, variable in a environment uh, file in order to avoid uh, any issue right for the uh, understanding purpose i will keep it like this only and then api secret key so we need the api secret key here like this okay, and save everything now we uh, almost set up everything just make sure in the go to the documentation and everything is there right the another thing that we need to modify is security middleware configuration right so in the middleware.js you have to update this particular line of code okay so just copy this line of code oops copy this line of code and then go back to a vs code here in the middleware.js file in the same config folder you have to add it okay so like this and just remove this strapy because we already have using this strapy here save this one and uh, and uh, go back here right make sure everything is done and uh, npm install provide um, we execute this line of command already so now let's go back to our command prompt and stop just rerun the project okay so i will rerun the project and the once this project is uh, run let's open this one so open in local host 1337 slash admin just log into the account okay with the credential which you created and you will jump on this page right now go to the media library and let's try to add new assets so let's browse the file here i will add the new file for example the banner of our course let's upload it and you see it's uploaded right in order to make sure that it's uploading to the cloudinary right copy this uh, link and paste it here okay and if you see the url is resources cloudinary.com okay so it means it's uploaded to the cloudinary only okay and if you want to check go to the uh, cloudinary dashboard go to the media library and here you will find our image get uploaded in the dashboard that's all so you can upload the image you can upload any type of file okay uh, to this cloud under you use our strapy so we are pretty much set up uh, ready with this strapy uh, uh, cms okay and we successfully set up and install this strapy as well now next uh, if you see our application so in this one right uh, we are going to uh, add this slider and for that we will add the slider in the, our stripey first and then we will uh, with the help of api generated from the stripey we will use this api in our application in order to display this slider on the, our application okay